Hey everyone, I decided to stay inside and draw today because it's raining outside, but for real rain we have to go to the US because everything is, as they say, bigger in Texas, with the obvious exceptions of tax rates and tolerance for firearm legislation. This week Hurricane Harvey's been doing far more damage to Houston than North Korea could ever hope to. It's a real shame that Kim Jong-un doesn't just dress up like Blofeld in a video claiming he was responsible for it all, you know, and that they developed a weather machine or something. He's already got that Bond villain vibe going on. But back to the storm, uh, the last Houston that went underwater was Whitney Houston and that ended pretty bad. Uh, there's been 51 inches of rain in Houston and that's settled to leave more than 8 feet of flooding in some places and as a result there's been people killed, billions in property damage, a curfew put in place, two reservoirs close to bursting and more worryingly though President Trump's come very close to losing control over the news agenda. Imagine he was set to make some huge announcement to rile up the left this weekend but even he can't influence the weather um, or the House Republicans either to be honest. Amusingly, I saw an online activist pointing out that Hurricanes Katrina, Sandy and Harvey were all supposedly 100-year flood events, yet they'd all happened within the same decade. Uh-oh, must be man-made climate change. Uh, except, nope, uh, those are three completely separate areas. That's how risk frequency modelling works. The previous worst ever hurricane in the Houston area was the 1900 storm, uh, coincidentally about 100 years ago. Um, offering up a radically different theory, though. Uh, see, some evangelicals have claimed that the rain is a biblical punishment from above for electing a homosexual mayor. Um, suppose that if electing LGBT politicians screw of the weather, then it would at least explain why Scotland has such dreadful weather. Oh, wait, no, Keziah Dugdale's just resigned. Uh, well, I'm visiting Glasgow this weekend, so I suppose I'd better put away that umbrella and pack some shorts. Anyway, see you next week.